Well, I'm being asked by uh, a chap called Matthew, um, who got into Russell Hoban and which songs are inspired by his work? Well, I suppose uh, me and Carl did really sort of... Um, yeah, was, uh, my ex-wife Vivian, although she was uh, a recent friend at the time, um, introduced me to uh, Russell Hoban's book, um, Ridley Walker, which happened to be on her bookshelf. I was very excited by it. His songs were inspired by his work. Well, they're thinking about it, uh, I think Despite Dense Weed was kind of inspired by by the attitude of, by the uh, general sort of atmosphere of Ridley Walker, which is, um, if you don't know, set in a, about 2,000 years in the future, there's been a, a nuclear catastrophe, and after a long, uh, bleak uh, hiatus, human beings are coming back, um, uh, and have grown back to a level of civilization that's roughly equivalent to the Bronze Age, so <clears throat> you've got um, hunter-gatherers are dying out and starting to get farms and and then in an sort of inspired uh, leap of imagination, Russell Hogan creates this, this kind of government slash entertainment industry that's run by Punch and Judy men. They can sort of go around the country sort of, um, giving these shows which are kind of part um, a sort of uh, shamanic uh, future telling and partly um, putting out government policy and, uh, and uh, guiding guiding the uh, the people of um, Kent, it is actually, um, uh, along the lines that the uh, the powers that be would, would like things to be. Oh yeah, he wrote another book called Pilgerman, and that um, roughly um, coincided with us going to um, Israel uh, for the first time. And seeing Jerusalem for the first time, Pilgerman is all about... Um, uh, a, a Jew's pilgrimage to uh, to the Holy Land, and um, various kind of slightly metaphysical, magical, realist kind of uh, adventures he gets into. And uh, I don't know, there's something about the two things: the experience of going to Jerusalem for the first time, which was pretty striking, and um, this kind of take on it that Russell Hoban had produced in the book Pilgerman. Um, just really struck a chord. I, I was inspired to write him a letter to say, uh, we think your shit's really good. And um, to my surprise, he, he ran me back almost immediately. And um, we ended up uh, meeting a few times and went over his, to his house for dinner. And uh, we talked about writing some songs together and so on, uh, which never really happened. But yeah, I... I um, uh, what was the other... Went to a few of his lectures, um, and yet, yeah, in one of his later later books, he uh, he quotes um, one of Carl's songs. Also, I suppose one of um, Flannery O'Connor's novels, um, "Everything That Rises Must Converge," um, which was kind of nice. To be, he actually says, as Shriekback says, uh, "Everything That Rises Must Converge." Uh, he's talking about. Um, I think the escalator on the tube at Angel. <laughs>